Hello Wingman, today we'll be talking about the Battle of Bubian, if I'm saying that right, which occurred during the Persian Gulf War, and the battle started on January 29th, 1991, where it was thought that the Iraqi Navy was moving ships towards Saudi Arabia to try and land commandos uh, that would then try and navigate into Kuwait. Uh, on their way there, though, they were discovered by some coalition helicopters, and Saddam Hussein, in fear of losing his ships, uh, ordered them to all to flee to Iran. Uh, however, over the course of the next few days, and concentrating a 13-hour battle, the coalition would send out planes and absolutely destroy the Iraqi army, sinking 21 of 22 ships. Now, this battle would basically obliterate the Iraqi navy and let the coalition forces operate almost freely within the Persian Gulf, which would then translate to the success that the coalition would find during the ground war not long after that. Elements of this mission were added for dramatic effects, so don't, please don't assume that this is meant to be a reenactment. My last mission, flown Desert Storm Day 1, uh, tried to capture some you know, real moments that happened during the original battle uh, on, on the Day 1 strike. Uh, this one is strictly more fictional, uh, meant to just be fun and, and enjoyable. You guys can fly it, I will always link the uh, mission uh, access to in, in my description down below. Um, so just keep that with a, a grain of salt that this is meant to be uh, or not a reenactment but more just a, a fun mission that uh, you guys can all fly. Uh, we'll use the Mavericks um, on some ships and hopefully uh, return to base. So I hope you guys enjoy the flight, like and subscribe and uh, without further ado let's get on with it. Alright so we're just uh, climbing through to 16,000 feet in New uh, Waypoint 2. All right, well, Iran is like way out that way, so I'm not too worried of violating the airspace. So we'll just, uh, I mean, most of our waypoints are basically straight ahead, so again, not too much of a concern. We'll just keep flying to Angel 16 and level off here in a second as we fly to uh, waypoint two. On board today we have uh, our usual loadout of two Sparrows and two Sidewinders, and we also have four Mavericks we're going to use to do some ground targets on. Should be some ships today. I could probably actually get those set up now. Um, if we just go stores, select the Maverick. One, pushing from waypoint two at 15, they need uh, three minutes just to uh, set up to get their sight uh, figured out. All right, so we're just passing waypoint two. Let's switch to waypoint three. And there should be ships out there in the distance. We don't see anything uh, at 40 miles. Let's just make sure everything's set up. We are in air to surface, uh, air to ground radar mode. Let's just switch it to C. And uh, still nothing out there. We go ahead and ah, there we go. So 40 miles wasn't far enough, uh, but clearly lots between uh, call it. I guess at least 45 miles and maybe 65 miles away. So that's uh, exactly where we're heading. Uh, and, and looking for some ships. Uh, we can make sure our Maverick is set up for ship mode. And uh, we're going to change all our field of views uh, of all four Mavericks to this square here by just selecting the FOV button uh, on all four Mavericks now. Just so it's a bit more enlarged when we're zeroing in on our target. I'm going to bring this back down to 40 as we're starting to get closer. We actually start to lock up some of these targets. Alright, just to kind of give us an idea. So right now, uh, we have some information on the HUD. Uh, we try to designate this first target, this very first ship that we see. It's now represented by this diamond here. The triangle, if I just move away, the tri upside down triangle we see there, that's basically where the uh, center of the Maverick's looking. 
All right, so the idea is to try and get the triangle on our diamond here, uh, lock up the target, which is going to be looking for a heat signature. That's how the Mavericks work. And uh, we'll be able to hopefully lock up a ship and shoot it uh, to sink. We're starting to descend. We're getting closer, about uh, 32 miles away. In about 20 seconds, we'll have a picture here. I should try and make sure that our center azimuth here on the radar is centered and lock, you know, centered on the uh, first ship there. Give our Maverick the best chance. Now we have picture. And so what's going to happen is if we switch our uh, TDC slew switch to the left DDI, the uh, Maverick's actually going to try and zero in on the target. There we go. It's moved. We're almost basically there. Um, and just looking in see anything here but if we move now we can see some white signatures all sorts of different ships it's not locking up right away because we're still too far but uh, we just gotta try and make sure again the ship is right on the center azimuth and then just doing small adjustments to try and get it locked in Hopefully we'll get a bit closer, get a lock in a uh, rifle. For all my Canadian viewers, shout out to you guys. During this very battle, the CF-18 scored a victory, their first victory during the Persian Gulf War. They have also been their only. I didn't really uh, get clear details on that, but uh, a win's a win, okay? <laughs> Guess we're no longer going for this first target, I just realized. That's all right. We're actually not going for, we've moved over just because of this three cluster ship is these three right here, I believe. And that's going to be perfectly fine. We're, we're really closing in here, 15 miles from target. the hell that was but we definitely don't take orders from them so we're just gonna stay on mission here we're not gonna fire just yet all right that's who we report to so we're uh, just getting ready make sure master arm switch is on that's an important detail we're getting awfully close here we can really start to see the detail in the uh, on the picture here but still no luck. And now we got a lock, so uh, let's get ready to shoot. There's rifle. Let's uh, look for another ship here. Try and lock up this one. Still nothing. There we go. Now we got a lock. So we rifled. Oh, there we go. There's the first ship we hit. And uh, hopefully we keep an eye on the one we're hitting here. I'm trying to switch my RWR. We've been shot at. Oh, some of these guys shoot back. Oh, 
Holy smokes. I don't know if that's one of the sh ships we shot at. Oh, there's a missile in the air. Being shot at. We're going cold. Oh, look at all that. Looks like we hit a second ship, though. <laughs> We've hit two ships. Let's get ready for a second pass here. All right, another ship straight ahead. Try to get a lock. We got a lock. Rifle. Have to be very careful here. Alright, we got one last Maverick. Up to some ships here. <laughs> like all the ones that have been destroyed, though. Yeah, a bunch sinking. More in the distance, though, so let's get ready. Let's turn back in. We gotta neutralize as many ships as possible. These ships will do. All right. We don't see any ships on the uh, Maverick screen. Take a look. Are they they must be sinking. Yeah, they're sinking as we speak. The same up in the distance there that's trying to lock us. Still some ships though. All right, let's get ready for another pass. Oh no, what the hell? Who's this ahead? Oh, there's a bunch of ships ahead. Africa, wait. And we're gonna defend here. And just go cold. And no more Mavericks. Let's get out of air to ground. Switch to air to air radar. And uh, start thinking about heading back home. Attack in 7-1 X-ray. Let's just turn that back on. Altitude. Altitude. Attack in stations this way. All right, we're gonna start heading back. Let's get rid of this and turn on our SA page, see if there's anybody who might be a threat to us. We were told to only engage if we are fired first. Strict rules of engagement. We're going to gain some altitude here. This is looking a little scary, I'm not going to lie to you. 
First part of the mission was a success. Destroyed all sorts of ships. But uh, now I'm a little concerned about getting home. Seems to be at least two bogeys in the air. If I have 14s, probably running cap. It's not clear what's going on here. Oh, one of them disappeared, so. And this guy is going the other way, so I think we might be okay. Oh yeah, he's turning around. He's going. He's going away. All right, we might be all right then. Now all those ships, uh, all those jets took off earlier, and we're all gonna have to figure out the pattern to land. Oh, someone's he's re-engaging. Uh, I can lock him up or anything. What? He's on the deck? He's really he's now four thousand feet. We're being engaged. I'm not really sure what's going on. I switch my sparrow on. Yeah, he's too close for that. Fox 2. Splash. Splash 1. Splash 1 F4? Iranian F4. Alright, I mean, technically we weren't fired upon, but at the same time, he was definitely... I mean, when you're getting at the range of, of, of Sidewinders, I think it's... it's kill or be killed, right? So, I don't think we'll be court-martialed for anything like that. They're definitely in the thick of it. We, we, they're getting rid of our lock. I'm, uh, I'm comfortable with that, uh, with that move. So let's uh, start to climb up again. Looks like there's no more threats. <laughs> As I say that. Who's, uh... They have 14. Okay, that's fine. If they're all going in, we uh, can keep going back to the ship here. We can probably talk to uh, the ship and let them know we're on our way back. Let's go ahead and do one notch of flaps. Oh my god, this formation is sick. Alright boys, should we do a flyby?